Hello YouTube, this is Legit X Panda, or as my subscribers know me as, I am Panda. Um, and I'm here with a little Steam tutorial guide, kind of. So as most of my subscribers know, I got a new computer. And I, I pretty much wanted it because I love DayZ so much, and I just wanted to play it so bad. <clears throat> so uh, I, I bought it, and I've, I've had a lot of issues with Steam and running Arma in general and let alone even trying to get in a daisy game because that was just not working for me so i've spent the last three nights i feel like i haven't slept because i've just been trying to get this out for you guys <laughs> um actually i've been trying to get it for myself and then you guys uh, i i've done so much research could not find anybody teaching you how to do this so i ended up finding my own way on how to do this Okay guys, so this is going to be a long, tedious process, but after it's done, it's done for good, and hopefully you'll never have to worry about it again. So, first of all, what you're going to want to do, if you have all three of these already installed, and you have to purchase these off of Steam, this is for Steam only, I, have, I didn't buy the CDs, I have no idea how to use those. Okay, so what you do is you're going to go find Arma 2, delete local content, same for Operation Arrowhead, and same for the beta. Okay, now that that's done, you guys might think this is a trolling video, but it is not. Okay, go to uh, your program, or com my computer, your hard drive, and then uh, program files or program files 86, depending on the bit uh, your guys' computers use. Mine is a 64 bit, so. Uh, if you have a 32-bit, then you would click Program Files 64-bit x86. Okay. Now you might have a Arma 2 folder in here. Just drag it into the trash. Get rid of that. Uh, you're not going to need that, and it'll help you out in the long run. I re had to re-download this like, pff, God, it felt like 20 times, but it was only like 16. Um, even still, that's a lot. And I had an Arma 2 folder there the last time I tried this, and I got rid of it, and it helped. So I went down to, or next you're going to go down, scroll down to Steam, then Steam Apps, then Common. And then you should have these two folders in here. Trash them, throw them away. You don't need those either. It, this is how I did it, so um, my friend did it. I explained exactly how to do it, and he had no issues as well. The next thing you want to do, right click on Steam and run as administrator. Click yes, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now you're going to want to install Arma 2. Now, this is going to take a long time, depending on your internet connection. Mine only took about 30, 35 minutes. Um, and then, after it's done installing, you click play. It should install BattleEye. You should get absolutely no errors. Um, when you start up the game, it should work perfectly. Just go into single player, find, or go to boot camp, uh, play around, joke around, mess around for 10 minutes. I I just did the first mission and just drove the the hum, Humvee around for ten minutes. Try to crash into everything, just digging around pretty much. Okay, so after that, you just um, are gonna exit out. And here's a little process that I did after I exited uh, exited out. I just uh, decided to quit Steam as well, and then right click and run as administrator on Steam again just to play it safe. Okay, and then do the exact same thing with Operation Arrowhead. Install it, go play boot camp for 10 minutes, then uh, exit out, and then come back to here, and then install beta. I didn't exit out and run as admi admin this time just because this is such a little download, and it I knew it wouldn't affect it, So and it, yeah, it didn't affect it at all. So after you have all three of those downloaded, and you think it's running fine, what you're going to want to do is um, go to Google. Well, actually, you won't have to go to Google, because I am nice enough to put this in the description. So when you get to this, this page, just click on download. It'll bring you down. Scroll down. Click Get Daisy Commander. Install that. It should take less than five minutes okay next you're gonna want to open it uh, I didn't right click for the administrator because it opens up and already lets me choose that okay so now daisy commander pops up next thing you're gonna want to do 
click install update now up uh, arma 2 should be up to date if it's not just click update uh, daisy is not going to be up to date in fact you won't even have that on your computer and that's what i'm trying to show that this t this task is non-laborful at all meaning you don't really have to do any work but a couple clicks so um it should say not up to date or whatever just click install like it says over here the latest version and that should take a little while after you're done with that you'll get a list of these and uh, white names uh, mean you can join gray names mean you can't because you have the wrong version on this left hand side you have all of your your filter stuff you want Tracers are when um, it shows the bullets, shows a little line behind a bullet, you know, crosshairs, death messages, third person, hide locked servers, hide empty servers, you know, stuff like that, stuff I did. Okay, um, so anyway, then you all you're going to want to do is double click on one. I'm not going to do it because Camtasia sucks and does not record gameplay. And I don't know how to mix fraps with Camtasia, and I don't, I don't. That's gonna take forever for me to learn. I just want to get this out of the way. So just click on whatever one looks good. I mean, this 17 out of 41 looks good. It's 9 a.m. in the morning too, so it's even better. So just double click on that, and see, I actually joined that already. What you're gonna want to do is double click. Uh, you'll join it. And you should get absolutely no problems at all. You should be. It should put you in the the lobby. It should wait. Say wait for host for five seconds, and then put you in the lobby. And w should work spiffly, perfectly. Then you click join, and it should let you join. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, this process works for me. I don't know if it's gonna work for everybody. Like I said, I helped my friend out with it, and his worked fine. So hopefully your guys' will work fine and we can get this Steam BS because I know I kept getting error messages. I got so many and I had to re-download this like 16 times. Took 30 hours out of my day and it's just, you know, there's only 24 hours in a day anyway. So it, it was a three-day process. But happily I figured it out just for you guys and for myself. And I hope the whole Steam community can finally play daisy and enjoy it without having any issues okay guys so if you do have any issues just hit me up with a comment or a personal message and i'll try to help you out as best as i can thanks y'all peace out